Okay, so for today on Can I Fix It, we have a McCulloch lawnmower. It's model says M46, don't know what that means. Anyhow, it appears to have been sitting around for a some time in this um, Perth, Western Australia coastal weather by the rusty bits but anyhow it's got a broken throttle and a mangled throttle cable but anyhow let's see if I can fix it well looks like we might have a big job ahead of us uh, it appears that it's got uh, I don't know if you can see that in there Yeah, definitely water in the petrol tank there. And, uh, which will mean, uh, probably the carburetor is probably full of water as well. Anyhow, yeah. take all that off and, uh, have a look. Well, let's just get this, uh, this fuel hose off. <laughs> yeah, that's just definitely water. So it's been uh, left out in the rain for a long time. And yeah, we'll clean that out. And uh, next job will be the carburetor. <laughs> Easy doing it one handed. That looks like eight millimeter. Not the ten millimeter. First off, we should probably uh, drain the carby. Yeah, look at that. Yep, yeah, that's uh, it's all water. Surprisingly, not too bad. Okay, bonus. Yep, all water. Yep. One thing I often find with these uh, Lon Sin engines, these Chinese made engines, uh, uh, is that um, they need the choke to be fully closed to start them, even when they're hot. And um, if they're not starting, sometimes you'll find that uh, this choke mechanism here, this little part here, is is often bent, and the uh, the choke butterfly won't close to choke the engine. I'll just show you just how this functions. And if that butterfly there isn't closing fully, you probably just need to bend that little tab back down just a tiny bit or however much is required. Just like that. So the butterfly will close fully.
in here. Hope that's helpful. Okay, well here we are. The fuel tank's been cleaned out, the fuel system's been cleaned, the carby's been cleaned. Um, the oil's been changed. Uh, okay, let's see if I fixed it. Machine saved from uh, who knows rubbish tip. Cheers. <laughs>